to a different edition of Weekly Wacky Wednesday. Things are gonna be a little different today. Why, you might ask? Well, here's a shot of my knee. I had a couple options since I am shooting my music video today for locks. So option number one was to not come on live. Uh, but I still wanted to pop in and say hello. So I thought, let's go for option number two, which is a slightly modified Weekly Wacky Wednesday. It's going to be a bit short because we're kind of in the middle of the, the process here. But uh, this is not what I'll be wearing, of course. I'm waiting until the last minute to change into my outfit because here in Southern California, it is very, very, very hot out. So I'm running around sweating, setting things up, and I don't want to get my, get my outfit all messy. How's everybody doing? How's it going? What is new in you land? Ah, yes, Kurtek is here. Boop, boop, boop. I'm so excited. Uh, you are maybe soon going to see uh, Alex, Nestor, and Eddie. Uh, they were going to be here by now, but some lighting that had to be found was a little harder to source than we thought it was going to be. They went to two different guitar centers to pick up these light panels and uh, still couldn't find them. So, uh, they're having to go to another store, Privet. So they were going to be here by now, but unfortunately, uh, they're not. So you might not be able to say hi to them. Woo! I love this guy. I got him. Where was I when I got him? I think I was in Slovenia. I just love this little dude. And the weird thing is, I wonder if anyone knows why this is. I don't know if it's because the, I heard the granddaughter took over the company of the original animator, but they're so expensive. I don't know why this little dude is so expensive. Um, I think I still have the price tag. He was 30 euros. Isn't that crazy? But I had to get him because you definitely can't find him in the States. And I love his little videos. The little overalls, I know. Did anybody else grow up watching him? I love the fact that he doesn't really speak any language, so anyone anywhere in the world can enjoy him. <laughs> He's so cute. He goes around on little adventures around my house. For instance, I'll flip him around. Right now, he's going on an adventure to get a cup of coffee. Oh, thank you, Jackie. He was your hero. I love that. I've watched some of his videos on YouTube. For anyone wondering, uh, you can Google him. K-R-T-E. Is that K-R-T-E-K? Am I saying it right? Um, <laughs> and you can still watch all of his videos online. And the music is really fantastic. And the music is great. He just goes on these little adventures. I watched this one where he was doing some chemistry and then all of these shapes started coming around. I might be an adult, but I still, I still appreciate a fine stuffed animal. He's very firm too. I don't know if you can tell this from the thing, but you know how some are really squishy? He's very firm. This is a, this is a little mole that has done some hard work in his life. Hello, hello everyone. So there you go. Uh, I think when I was in Slovenia, someone told me there he was called Kurtku. So it seems like his name changes a little bit depending on where he is. Just like mine. Uh, you know, if I'm standing in someone's way, I might be, hey you! Or if it's a friend of mine, they might go, hi Sarah. <laughs> um, I can actually show you one of my bookshelves here. I'm at my house right now. Krisik. Krisik is Slovenian for a mole. He's so cute. I love him. He's my best friend. 
Oh, that's right, because he's a mole. He's under the ground. You know, the pressure of the earth. He needs to be strong. Here's one of my bookshelves here. We got the other one over here. We are in my living room. Welcome to my living room. Krusek. Oh, they're close. I guess maybe because they're they're related. Um, yeah, so uh started getting the makeup together. It's really hot out where I'm shooting. The Kleine Maulwurf. Krotek. Uh, it is a Tim Nimitz original. Yes, my dad made these amazing bookshelves and I'm just in love in them. You got a friend in mole. You got a friend in mole. When you need to dig a hole, you got a friend in mole. Um... Yes, so I've got a little portable AC unit in the garage where we're shooting, um, but it's, it's pretty hot. It's still in the 80s in there. The mole's got soul. I got mole with a capital M. I don't want to show too much. Um, thanks, Bert. What does Nuggets think? You know, I think Nuggets might be a little... a little, little, little jealous, but he's coming to terms with it. So, uh, welcome to this room I call the church because it has kind of a high ceiling. So I'm not going to show too much on here. There's going to be um, full behind the scenes that I'm shooting. We've got Mom Durator coming over here in person, and uh, there's going to be a whole behind the scenes that I'm editing for Patreon but I'll show you a little glimpse. Um, I don't want to do too much because it'll destroy the mystery, right? The mystery is going to be how I keep my makeup from melting. So, uh, just a little bit. We're setting up. Is Mom Drader bringing her accordion? Ooh, Malvarf versus Squirrel. Who wins? Ooh, I don't know. I'd be curious to see that. So we're going to be shooting in here. There's a bunch of amazing props. No spoilers. But um, I can't wait. I can't wait for you to see how it all comes together. Uh, you're going to see the video and it's going to look nothing like the behind the scenes, which you see. <laughs> yeah, poor Helen has been kicked out of her home. She's a little mad about it she has to live in the front of the house right now but yeah so there you go we got some little some little baby lights charging right here uh and in my mind when i set this up it was going to be you're gonna get to see alex but the lighting adventure took a little longer than we thought it was going to so um that's okay do I wear slippers? Yes, I do. I've got some of my favorite slippers on right now. Amazing, right? Little squirrels. They're kind of, they're pretty fallish, these slippers, but I love a good slipper. Just love having somewhere to let my foot live, you know? It's nice to give your So yes, this is a kind of a low-tech Weekly Wacky Wednesday right now. But that's okay. The advantage of never leaving the house is that I never have to wear any shoes other than your slippers. That is a very real, whoa. That's a very real advantage. Let's see, no, it's still not working. Um, let me not put it on top of this book. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'll just crouch over. There, okay. When do you think the video will come out? So I'm um, very excited. This video is going to be premiered. I can't remember the name of the publication right now, but uh, it's going to be premiered online. Uh, so it actually is going to be coming out, I think on the 26th is when the video is coming out. And I need to provide the materials by the 22nd. So I believe today is the 17th. 
So uh, basically, as soon as we get the shot, I'm going to be putting on my, uh, my glasses, putting on my little wrist brace to keep everything healthy and uh, go, 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 go and edit my, edit my hand off. The CD uh, is officially coming out October 28th. So please, if, um, if you haven't pre-ordered yet, please pre-order. I'm gonna have more information on the premiere as it gets a bit closer. I'm still learning some of the details, but uh, it is going to premiere first on another website and then it will be also on my YouTube. Uh, no, Phil. But it's, uh, it's all coming together. Uh, it's been several days so far of setup for the video and for getting everything in order. Say hello to the giraffe. Hello, giraffe. How you doing, little giraffe? Pretty good. If anyone hasn't pre-ordered, then I'm afraid we can't be friends. I hope so, Sherry. I would love to. Are you being interviewed later this evening by a radio station? Uh, no, not this, not this evening. I'm, I'm down for that though. If any radio station, whoa, any radio station wants to. So yep, the video is locks. It is coming together and I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to see more. There's gonna be a whole bunch of behind the scenes going on Patreon. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I, there is going to be a little thing on Reach Out with Ray and Steve today on uh, Facebook. I think it's around five o'clock. I have to check, I wanna say five o'clock, my time. I won't actually be on there live. I'll be in a 100 degree garage, but uh, it was recorded beforehand. Uh, yeah, Eddie's Attic, woo. It's funny because uh, Alex Nestor's husband's name is Eddie and he is going to be directing and shooting this video. Can you say squirrel in German? I don't know how to say squirrel in German. I don't know how to say squirrel in any language other than English and pig Latin. Earl Squay. Will Alex be in the locks video? Uh, she is not in the locks video, but she is instrumental pun intended, in getting everything looking amazing. Um, she is an amazing set designer, set decorator. Uh, she doesn't do it professionally, but she really should. She is so good. Um, she is working so much, sourcing endless things, endless props, uh, helping with lighting and a thousand other things. Uh, they came by yesterday and we set a bunch up. Wow. Eichhörnchen. Yep, so it's uh, it's really coming. Ice horn, would that be like, like a unicorn, but with ice for a horn? How long do I estimate that the shoot will take? Wow, it's hard to say. Um, it's hard to really go into the rationale for the answer that I'll give without huge spoilers. So I'm gonna make sure I don't do that. Um, but there are elements of this video that are one shot. There's only one opportunity to get this one shot. Uh, either it works or it doesn't and there's only one chance. And you'll know why when you see it. Uh, so we're gonna shoot all of the things that can have multiple takes before this grand final uh, hoopla. So I don't know. Uh, my guess is we'll probably be shooting into the early evening. So we'll see. But we've got lots of lights in there. We have the light blocked out. So we're not dependent on catching the daytime light or anything. Am I leaping a canyon? How did you know? You weren't supposed to spoil it. I'm blowing up my house, yep. Now you guys, I, you must have been reading my journal. I don't know how the word got out there. But it's, a, it's definitely a whole family endeavor. My dad's over here, he and I have been in the garage 
if I look a little deflated. The two of us have been in 100 degree garage for about two days. <laughs> Hoopla is a sorely underused word. I agree. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So I've been making sure to drink lots of water. Oh! The Keurig has been a, a huge help lately. I've been really enjoying it. I've got actually a Keurig right here. And I love the whole, I go back and forth. I love the whole process of making coffee. I love grinding the beans. I love doing a pour over. I love the, the whole coffee culture. But sometimes when you're really busy, there's something very nice about pushing a button, walking over and just going poof. I say. What is my final impression of my time at Al Coro? It was so wonderful. The restaurant is amazing. The people there are fantastic. And it was such a great environment to get to make music in. I got to play with so many friends. Ooh, Propinquity. There's a store not too far from me uh, by that name. So, yeah, the experience was great. I loved getting to play all of those sets four nights a week. It was, it was different and I hadn't done that much singing in such a short period of time for a while. So the really important thing for me now is to take some time and I don't think singers talk about this often enough. We definitely talk about it to each other, but the importance of vocal rest, especially after something like that where you're doing that much singing, it's so important. Um, I have not been able to do vocal rest uh, and I won't be able to until next week, but come, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I am just whoop, not going to be making a beep, although maybe I would be eating some peeps. So definitely gonna take some time to steam, not talk, drink a lot of water. It's so important as a singer to really take care of your instrument. You have to be there for it, so it will be there for you. Ah, um, I think I'm going to have to move it to a later date. I'm going to look at the schedule and, and schedule down a time for the Patreon show. So please stay tuned because that will be coming very soon. Um, in the next couple of days. How did they know? I don't know. It must be somehow involved with whoever's letting you know that I'm going to be blowing up my house. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So yeah, um, are we there yet? We're not there yet. And I don't think we're going to get to, to show you an Alex because of, don't blame her, blame Guitar Center. Oh, I hear hammering. I'm still, I'm still wanting to plan a cow concert. I have talked a little bit to Gentle Barn and I was driving the other day and I was behind a car. This was before my car wouldn't start. I was behind a car with uh, a Gentle Barn sticker on the back. And for those of you who don't know Gentle Barn, they're amazing. They are a barn that is gentle. And they take care of animals that have been abused or have had rough lives or maybe they were rescued from slaughterhouses or something. Uh, and the gentle barn is so great. And they have all of these cows. Oh, my mom's here. Hey, I've got Weekly Wacky going if you want to yell hello. I will. Hello. Did you hear that? Um, so I kind of want to figure out a way to do a cow concert. I was talking with. Alex about that. Is there also a gentle barn in Tennessee? I don't know. Uh, there's one north of LA. So that's the one that I want to go to. And I really want to do a cow concert. And being behind the car with the gentle barn sticker, it's like it was just reinforcing to me. You must do the cow concert. So Mom Drader is amazing. She um, brought some food for us. Um, I don't think today's shoot is going to be powered by Taco Bell. While I would want that, I would proudly power myself with Taco Bell. Unfortunately, um, I don't know. I don't know if Eddie and Alex want that. So I'm giving them some nice wraps from Trader Joe's, you know. 
Uh, no, mom doesn't want to come in front of the camera. She's, she's camera shy. Mom Drader is definitely not a fan of the camera. Oh, this is your first time hearing the Mom Drader's voice. Couchella, that's amazing. Do you have any words of wisdom you want to say to them? Uh, just did all of the shopping for, for the shoot. Yay! Now you guys, musicians, can have lunch. That's a beautiful thing. Ooh, you got a watermelon. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's all happening. So, um, I'm going to be heading off pretty shortly. I'm getting some texts from Alex, and I want to make sure she's not asking me about light panels or anything. I should probably... Oh, yeah, you are craft services today, Mom. Craft services, that's me. That's what Hi. they're saying. Hi, everybody. Feeling the love. Mom's feeling the love. The Livestock Festival, that would be good. Wait, what, what was um, Woodstock, Livestock, I like that. Moostock, we could do so Special much with this. Oh, for you. Ooh, what'd you get? Ooh, non-dairy oat, oat frozen. Oh, hold the dairy, look it, can I, can I show that? Don't worry, you're good. Okay, as long as you're, as long as you're past my hand, you're good, oh, yeah. Thank you. Always thinking of you. Oh, so. As I've been keeping you in the loop with my, uh, I love dairy. I love it deeply, but unfortunately my body does not. I gives me headaches. So I can't do dairy, but it's a beautiful world we live in with lots of dairy substitutes. So this is, I've never seen this before. This is Trader Joe's oat non-dairy frozen dessert sandwiches. Look at that. That is so cool. I've never had oat milk until really recently. And it kind of blew my mind. So I'm excited. That was an awesome handoff from the mom drader. People are appreciating your handoffs. And this one, hold the dairy mini coconut non-dairy frozen dessert cones. That is so cool. cool is that? Look at that. I really should get sponsored by Trader Joe's. That would be amazing. What else do we have? We got some wraps going. What's that big tub? Is that chicken noodle soup? It looks kind of like soup. Vegan mac. Oh, I wanted to try that. What's that one? Vegan caramelized onion. Ooh. I love Trader Joe's. The guy who checked me out. Ooh. Not checked me out, but checked me out. He said, hey. Is that engineer? And he's going to be opening a studio, and so I gave him your card, of course. So any of you out there, pass on Sarah's name, because that's what I do. You heard it. They love, uh, Chris says, I love this, having mom durator in the room. <laughs> okay, you know what, to make, since this is a special day, we'll take a couple questions. Maybe mom durator will answer them. Banana bread, is that a dairy? Probably really? Oh, oh, well, vegans, it doesn't have dairy. Oh, this looks amazing. They're really upping it with their, their vegan stuff. Oh, yeah. Someone says, I like this version of mom durator. Do you have any questions for Mom Drader? Let's see. I can do my best Barbara Walters. I think I'll be a little nicer than Barbara Walters. She could, she could get a little mean. Like near the end, she would kind of ask people questions like, so why are you a terrible person? <laughs> like, whoa. Um, I am a party animal today. Sometimes you just want a nice cold beer, but you don't want to like, you have to function so you can't drink. So I've gotten these non-alcoholic beers. Yesterday I had three of them. It's a real party. So what do you want to know? Oh, Tom says, so why is Mom Drader such a wonderful person? She says she doesn't know. Oh, someone says, Cheryl, when did you first realize that Sarah was a musical genius? At two. What's the craft services budget for the shoot? Uh, Sarah doesn't know. She bought it all, so. Oh, no. To see the bill. I'm going to guess. Wait, uh, 85. No, a little, little north of that. Oh, my. But I got you a uh, vegan meat lover's pizza for relaxing. Yes. Um, some of the questions went by too quickly. I didn't get to see him. That does mean no one controls the chat at the moment. So what else do you want to know? I'll pass on the questions. The back office is sending over an accountant to check. 
Oh, this reminds me. Uh, if anyone, there's an app called Fetch. Oh, yeah. That is so, oh, this is a good one. Ian says, Cheryl, what does Sarah do that gets on your nerves? Thinking. It's good that nothing immediately came to mind. Or maybe she's thinking like, what can I, what can I say online? Actually, nothing. Nothing? What about when I ask you the same question like three or four times? No. No. Because no. I do the same thing. Oh, Todd says, what annoys you when I ask you questions about you? <laughs> like here online. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I was starting to tell you. There's an app called Fetch. I know it works in the U.S. I don't know uh, if it works in Europe or not. I'm already starting to melt. But... It is so great because you can take your receipts from the grocery store or something like that and you scan it and it gives you at any least, store. any store, it gives you at least um, 25 points and I think it's like um, offset by 10. So I think 25 points is two and a half cents. Is that the way it does it? Or is yeah. it another? It. Oh, thank you, Ray. We're getting some love here for the uh, craft services. Thank you. <laughs> This, this, uh, these gifts are going straight to craft services. Oh, that's what I would say I dislike when at the last second you say, hey, can you stop at Trader Joe's and, you know. But you're so you good at it. You told me yesterday. I know. That's okay. Fetch, sorry. I keep almost telling you about Fetch. Fetch is an app. Yes, so you, you scan the things and then you can trade them in for points. So, like this one, this $100 one, sometimes it gives you more maybe i'll get 50 points for it it seems to be kind of you don't know when it's going to give you it's what it's not just groceries though. it's not just groceries yeah if you got like if you're like me how to get your tooth fixed the other day you can take that receipt i use that receipt uh yeah so and then you can trade the points in for starbucks cards maybe even taco bell cards amazon cards um and if you have someone uh i could recommend it to you you can use my link and sign up and then we'll both get points Thank you. Ooh, sparkling black tea. With peach. With peach. So don't sign up for Fetch yet. Let me get you my link and then we can both get points. When someone signs up with my link, they get, I think I get 2,500 points. I don't know how this company makes money. They must have sponsors. Oh, they, advertise. they advertise. But it's great because um, I think I've already made $10 maybe. Uh, post the link at SNFC. I really should. Yeah, I had, I had my toothpicks two days ago. This was when I broke it in New York. It took me a long time to finally get back and fix it. But they fixed it really quickly. Oh, that's good. All right, let's see. Um, what's another question you might have for Mom Drader? Dad Drader, do you want to be a part of this? No, I think you got too many people on board already. Too many haters? Yeah. Can I sing through a mouth guard? I actually got pretty good at that. I could. I sound a little lifty though. Uh, Dad Durator too, it's all happening. <laughs> He's in the, are you still here? Dad, they wanna know what's your favorite tool. <laughs> He's shaking his head and smiling. I don't have a Whatever it needs to be. It's a whole it's a whole party going on here. This is a family show. This is a family show. Fun for the whole family. Look at this banana bread with walnuts. Michael says he just wants to thank both of you for supporting me. Aww. No, you're not gonna get either of them to appear on camera. They don't want well, to. The one that works. Is it down to the lowest it got yesterday was 82. Wonder what it's got. I don't think that's it. Someone's guessing a hand planer might be your favorite tool. No, you're not in it. It's not going any further than that plant. 88. 88. Oh my gosh. Yikes. 
But it's a dry heat. It is. All right. I'm going to go pretty soon because I got to get a couple things together. But let's do one more question for Mom Dorator. Well, don't go that way. Chris says, hats off to you on the bookshelves, Dad. Thank you. Okay, here we go. David wants to know, what sports teams do you guys pull for? <laughs> Dad doesn't care. Dad's not a big sports guy. Bears and Cubs. Mom's, mom's going Bears and Cubs. And now the Yankees. And now the Yankees, yes. The Bears. Oh, yeah, we're rooting for the Bears, although the Bears haven't been good for a long time now. Well, there you have it. Wow. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you guys for the help towards the craft services. Alex and Eddie are so nice to... Please pre-order the album if you haven't yet. You heard it here. Alex and Eddie are so nice to um, come and, and spend so much time, so... The last thing I want to do is not have some, some snacks for them. Snacks. Is this one left out for a minute? What is that? Sparkling water? Yes. Um, it's going to be a fun one. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this abridged version of Wiggly Wacky Wednesday. Uh, I'll get her to do a live one someday soon. <laughs> yes. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe out there. Stay good. Uh, stay happy and uh, pet a squirrel if you can. Don't, maybe just pet it with your mind. All right. Bye. Let's see. How do I stop this? Okay. Bye.